For over 75 years, the E-Class has set the standard for mid-range luxury saloons. In 2023, Mercedes-Benz will open a new chapter for the business saloon. The new E-Class points the way in the transition from the combustion engine to electric drive. At the same time, its new electronics architecture allows a comprehensive digital user experience. The first saloon models of the 214 series will arrive at the European sales partners in autumn this year. Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. Here, you'll find all the latest news and information about cars, trucks, and everything automotive. We are dedicated to bringing you the most up-to-date information on new models, industry trends, and the latest advancements in automotive technology. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. The 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class continues to reside in the luxury mid-size sedan segment. Built on a new platform shared with the C-Class and GLC, it retains the same height of 1,468 mm while growing by 9 mm in length and 8 mm in width. Trunk space remains the same, at 540 liters. The new E-Class has the proportions of a classic three-box saloon. The short front overhang and long bonnet are followed by a greenhouse which is set well back. The cab backward design is rounded off by the well-proportioned rear overhang. A black panel-like surface connects the radiator grill with the headlamps. This insert in high-gloss black is visually reminiscent of the Mercedes EQ models. The three-dimensionally designed radiator grille is either progressive or classic, depending on the equipment line. The new E-Class has high-performance LED headlamps as standard. As an optional extra, digital light is available without and with a projection function. All headlamp variants offer a distinctive day and night design. As a typical feature of the brand, the daytime running lights take the shape of an eyebrow. Power domes accentuate the bonnet. The side view shows off the harmonious proportions and the distinctive cab backward design to particularly good effect. The flush fitting door handles familiar from the luxury Mercedes-Benz models are available as an option. The two separate character lines on the side emphasize the car's sporty character. Highlights at the rear include the two-section LED lights with a new contour and special design. The star modif in both light units provides a special day and night design. For North America, Mercedes offers two trim levels at launch, the E350 and E450. Size-wise, it's just under one inch longer with a half inch longer wheelbase. This translates to a quarter inch more headroom, a half inch more legroom in the back and elbow width is nearly equal to the S-Class. Both trims are available with the 4MATIC all-wheel drive powertrain. Both use an upgraded version of the 9-speed automatic transmission, and depending on the trim, you'll find familiar 4-cylinder or inline 6 power under the hood. We'll discuss more on the mechanicals later, because the big news here is what's happening inside. You may already know much of what we're about to present. Mercedes took the odd step of debuting the new E-Class interior back in February, complete with photos and a modest list of features. To refresh your memory, the NBUX Super Screen is in full effect regardless of the E-Class trim level you choose. It's very similar to the standard layout found in the EQE, featuring a standalone driver display with the broad screen blending into the center display. Two display styles are offered. Sporty is predictably intended for driving enthusiasts with lots of red lighting and a central tachometer, while classic is classic. For those who choose the optional MBUX Premium Plus package, a passenger screen is included. It's hooked up to sensors in the passenger seat and thus only activates if someone is sitting there. The screen is designed to allow passengers full view while blocking it from the driver ensuring there's no added distraction while traveling. Speaking of distractions, we mentioned up to five cameras for the E-Class interior. Only one is standard, a mono camera that monitors the driver to ensure eyes are on the road. 
A stereo camera arrangement adds another driver monitor to the instrument display to help with advanced driver assist systems. While a gesture camera in the overhead control panel is part of the NBUX interior assistant feature. Two RGB cameras are also available, one being a dash cam and the other being the aforementioned selfie cam. Yes, it's a real thing that Mercedes says can be used for Zoom meetings while on the road, or rather, parked safely off the road. There's also an optional 3D driver display that employs a stereoscopic effect. Basically, the left and right eyes see different pixels on the screen, giving a sense of depth just like those weird stereoscopic photos you have to cross your eyes to look at. And then there's the optional active ambient lighting feature that allows the soft interior LED lights to sync with music bumping on the Burmester sound system. So yeah, there's a lot happening here. Mercedes says the new E-Class is more about software than hardware. And to make that live for you, the sedan runs a new single computer system that, among other things, brings added compatibility for third-party apps. At launch, buyers can have entertainment apps like the game Angry Birds, video conferencing apps like Webex or Zoom, or search the web through the Vivaldi browser. And yes, the video platform TikTok is included for when you need to see a funny video or upload something wild to your followers. And this is all in addition to vehicle-related functions like climate control, seat position, mirrors, performance, and navigation. To help drivers cope with all the E-Class features, Mercedes has upgraded its voice command system. When just one person is in the car, the keyword, hey Mercedes, is no longer needed to start a command. Additionally, the E-Class uses an advanced AI system that will learn driver routines over time and automatically implement them. E-Class owners can also use pre-installed routines or create new ones, ranging from specific climate settings to lighting preferences and more. With so much tech on the inside, one might forget this is actually a car. The familiar cab rearward shape of the E-Class endures, though you'll find EQ influence at the front with the gloss black panel connecting standard LED headlights. A slightly larger grille sits in the middle, outlined either in chrome or optional LED running lights. Also optional are digital lights with a projection function, and at the rear, tidy LED taillights contain three-pointed star elements. Flush door handles are standard, and wheel sizes range from 18 to 21 inches. Underneath, the E-Class gains optional rear steering that can turn the wheels up to 4.5 degrees at speeds below 37 miles per hour. Mercedes says this is good enough to chop nearly three feet of the sedan's turning circle. At higher speeds, the rear wheels can turn up to 2.5 degrees for added stability, maneuverability, and performance. It's available with the optional technology package that also adds the Airmatic Air Suspension System with continually adjustable damping. It also keeps the car level, and at speeds above 74 miles per hour, it lowers the E-Class by just over half an inch for better efficiency and a lower center of gravity. Under the hood, you'll find almost the same engines used for the outgoing E-Class. The E350 still has a turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder, though it gains a small electric motor to become a mild hybrid. Powered is rated at 255 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, though an extra 20 horsepower is available with a boost function. The E450's Turbo i6 is still a mild hybrid system, though power is up to 375 horsepower. The six-pot generates 369 pound-feet of torque, and like the four-cylinder, a 20-horsepower boost is available. Mercedes-Benz doesn't have performance or efficiency ratings available yet, and for now, there is no plug-in hybrid trim in the States. Similarly, there's no pricing info for the new E-Class, nor is there a specific on-sale date. Production will commence later this year at the automaker's Sindelfingen plant as well as Beijing. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video and we hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.
And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and feedback. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one.